So these are my Mbuna tanks. Yes, there's some non-Mbunas in there, as well as several fry that are growing up. I couldn't get them out of removing all the rocks. I think there's six left. And there is a cave vent which leads to that downspout, which connects to the fish bridge. That valve is to start and stop the siphon in the fish bridge easily so that it doesn't have to be moved full of water. The 2x4 is temporary, although it's turning out to be a little more than temporary, but that will be attached to a wall bracket. The fish bridge goes over here and into that downspout. And there's the cave entrance there for that one. I was hoping to catch some fish in it, but no such luck right now. So this is the second tank. And over here is the cave entrance for the second bridge. Downspout goes up there, across, and down into the third tank. So all three tanks are connected through two fish bridges and thus share the same water supply. There's the cave entrance there for that one. Now the idea here to stop the water in the fish bridges from becoming oxic, there's a power head there which pumps water through there. And I won't show you the hosing because it's all hidden away, but it pumps water through into this tank here. The water is being pumped from the far tank to this one, which forces water back through the siphon of the two fish bridges into this one, thus keeping it circulating and fresh. Each tank has its own filters and heater. This tank has a fluval fluorosing and a hang on back filter. And this tank has a fluval as well. It was a hang on back that's there temporarily so I can start a cycle on it for another tank. And it's also got uh, an overflow. This is going to probably be too dark, but it's got an overflow with a do it yourself wet dry filter with pot scrubbies there. That then gets pumped back, so that's quite large capacity. And then this tank also has its own filtration to hang on back so it's ridiculously over filtered, uh, which is good. And that is the setup. The fish do use the bridges, although more at night and in the daytime. The advantage to this system, well there are several, one of the big advantages of course is water changes are much simpler. You have one water change instead of three. You're draining all of them at once. The bottom of the down tubes on the, on the deepest tank is a little bit more than 50% of the tank depth, so you can do 50% water changes quite easily without stopping 
on the fish bridges. So they just continue and you're changing it all at once. And of course with the sump it becomes quite easy as well to maintain exact water levels. The other advantage obviously for the embunas is they can use the fish bridges to get to a completely different environment <clears throat> and they seem to like that. They can find potential mates that they may maybe have not seen for some time, days or weeks, as well as get away from fish that are terrorizing them if that does happen. So there you are, that is my setup.